hello everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am doing this makeup look here for you i haven't done a video in so long and i got re-inspired after watching my previous videos in my instagram and i just decided you know what F this we're gonna do this video so um if you want to see how i did this look please keep watching all right so I didn't prep my skin or anything yet, so which is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna be using the Kika Malone Bright Eyes Lift Eye Cream Serum. I know you guys can't really see this because it's been faded out. Girl right here is so good. I love it because of the fact that it actually helps with any uh, darkness that I have underneath my eyes as well as brightens up underneath my eyes, which is what I love the most about the serum. So next for my skin, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion. This is really good. I love anything that has almost like a gel consistency of a gel. If it comes to a cleanser, a lotion, I love just how it feels on my skin. I also feel like it tightens up my skin for me too. Now for primer, I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's this guy right here. This stuff actually feels really nice on the skin. It actually feels like it, it refreshes up your skin, I feel like. It just gives like a nice cooling sensation to your skin. So that's what I really like about this primer. I've only been using it um, for like about a week now. Um, when I was working in Sephora, this was something that I got as a gratis. Um, so yeah, I've just been using this for about a week now. So I have to really see how I feel about it. But so far so good it's supposed to actually keep the makeup in place okay now while my skin is like prepping itself i'm going to be actually doing my brows um, i'm going to be using the benefit precisely my brow this is in the shade 4.5 i haven't done my brows in some time so please don't judge okay <laughs> Just trying to fill in this little section here because when I was like trimming my brows I kind of took a whole chunk off right there and I'm just trying to make sure that I don't walk around looking crazy with almost like I have half of my brow cut <laughs> now time to clean up these mother I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty a concealer with the Morphe M224 brush this is the brush that came in the James Charles um, brush collection Next I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to keep these bad boys from not moving anywhere, okay? So I'm going to be doing the eye makeup first and then everything else after. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the uh, Kiko Milano Neutral Eye Base Primer. It's this guy right here. I haven't been able to find a primer that actually really works besides this one. I mean, the Urban Decay one was good too, but like in an affordable one that's like not as expensive like Urban Decay, no, I have not been able to find one besides the Kiko Milano one. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's like 12 bucks, I think, 14 tops and it lasts you forever and for me i have super super oily eyes and for this primer to basically not make my eyes oily and not make the shadow move anywhere is one of the best investments that i've ever had in my life so thank you kiko for that one like i'm in this mode where i'm like hmm what shadows am i gonna f with today so going in with the james charles palette I'm gonna go with the shade called Canvas. It's this one right here. Okay, so um, I did one eye off camera, as you guys can see. Um, so I'm gonna do this eye right now. Um, as we were going in with before, it was Canvas, I believe, that we did when we was to set the eye. So I did that already on this eye. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see a little bit better. with 518 and that's this shade right here and I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M412 brush
Now I'm gonna go in with your kidding. And this is the Morphe M506 brush. I'm applying that to my crease as well. This look is very much about placement and blending. So as you're seeing me, I'm actually not doing any window wiping motions. I'm actually just pressing and moving, pressing and moving. This way it blends with the orange seamlessly so there won't be any any way that you can tell that it's not blended okay i'm gonna go in with b from the palette this is yellow shade right here and i'm using the morphe e28 brush i'll apply that on top of the yellow now it's time to clean up and i'm gonna create a cut crease so give me a few just because i haven't done one of these in forever it took me forever to do this one Again, I'm going to set it with canvas. I'm going to go in with B and place that right here. You can see Frenchie. <laughs> Going back in with 518 and just placing that here. So I'm going in with two pigments to give me some shine on my eyes. I'm going to go in with Carper Sparkle from MAC. This is their pigment. This is a pigment that they came in in the holiday of like two years ago. And then the vanilla pigment. So going in with the carp Copper, I'm going to actually put this where I placed um, 518. Now I'm going to go in with vanilla and place that where I placed B. Now to create my wing, I'm going to be using the Kiko Milano Lasting Gel Liner with the Morphe M250-1 brush. So the brushes that I'm using are from the James Charles um, brush set. Say hi Frenchie! My lighting is a little off just because I always use natural lighting, but this is kind of the ideal part of the look. I'm going to be now using to create the white line on my crease, the NYX White Blanc Liquid Liner. I have a love-hate for this liner because I love, like, obviously it's white, but the thing is is that it cracks depending on where you place it. And that's the only thing that sucks about this liner, but whatever. Okay, so my eyes are done. I really need this lightning to come back. Like this summer, I've really been using like concealer, contour a little bit, but that's about it. I don't do anything else but that. Like I don't really even use foundation like that. So with concealer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Concealer in 310. For contour, I've been using the Anastasia um, Stick Foundation, and this is the one in Truffle, just to warm up the skin a little. To make sure that nothing moves, I'm going to be using the Fenty um, setting powder. I like to apply this all over my face, not just where 
I applied the um, concealer because as much as you need the under eyes to stay, you need to let make sure that everything stays, okay? Make sure everything stays. So using a setting powder all over your face does help. In fact, she's being super annoying at this point because all she does is bark and bark and bark and bark. She's all bark but no bite. Now to set my contour, I'm going to be using the chocolate to face uh, chocolate soleil. soleil. So for highlight, I'm using the Kiko Milano 208 eyeshadow. This is the holy grail of their products, honestly, because this sucker right here, this sucker right here gives the glow. Look at that. Oh. I highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I was gonna do eyeshadow underneath, but I think I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're just gonna keep it just like this. My little mascara underneath the eyes and do a nice cute lippy. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I took off that lip that I had before because it just wasn't working. So I ended up using the NYX uh, Professional Makeup Slide On Glide On Pencil in Bed Rose. So it's this nice rosy pink tone with a MAC Persistence Lipstick. So these are the two combinations that I used just now. I did it off camera just because I was trying to find some type of like cute lippy. So now I'm going to end up using is the Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. It is in the shade number one. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something cool today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a video in so long so it makes me feel so good to be doing this again. You don't have any idea how good this feels if you like the video please give this video a thumbs up it would mean so much to me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video